2007 on an 07 Porsche 911. So your 996 shape, Carrera 4S. So that's the 3.6 litre, naturally aspirated four wheel drive 911. We'll start by having a look at the bodywork, then we'll do the interior, and then we'll get it fired up. As you can see, it's finished in metallic black, black interior, black satin finished staggered. 997 turbo wheels which actually look really really good for a matching michelins as well which we'll check as we go around we'll start on the bodywork if we look down this driver's side you can see it's lovely and straight all the way down there it's not full of ripples or filler nice and smooth all the way down starting on this front um corner of the bumper we've got one small stone chip just there but other than that lovely and tidy obviously plastic on this section there's no sign of any stone chips or anything coming through here Quite often on these these 997s and 996s, you can get quite a lot of wear coming through here um, from stone chips, which starts in just sort of a white bare primer where the paint's been chipped away, then it starts a corrosion on this lip. This one, as you can see, is lovely and clean on there. And then all the way around, nice and sharp, all the way around, no sign of any marks coming through. Like I say, it's on satin finish, so satin black, 997 turbo wheels, they are staggered. Um, so on the front, we've got uh, 235 profile tyres. On the back, we have got, what have we got? 305, so quite a big stagger. Same as the turbos, really good looking wheel on this car. Um, people do fit them on 996s, it looks kind of odd, but 997s, really, really good. And it's on Michelin Pilot Sports, I believe all round, really good quality tyre, sign of good ownership. Lovely and clean along that front driver's wing. Nice and tidy round the, uh, the filler cap. Coming down the driver's side, we'll have a look along this sill. All the way down, nice and clean. Got a couple of little stone chips down there. In fact, that's dirt, ignore that. Was just driven here. All the way under there, lovely and clean. And you have this little body line that comes along the bottom where you can get a bit of corrosion coming through. But as you can see on this one, really, really good. Nice and clean and tidy on the driver's door. You might have to excuse the background noise. We seem to have a helicopter coming over the top. And then round the handle, lovely and clean. All the seals are nice and tidy. The glass is clean and clear. It's got the, the very light factory smoke, but there is no tint film on there or anything like that. Nice and tidy on the wing mirror. No sign of any stone chips coming up the A pillar and along the leading edge of the windscreen. And again, that can cause a little bit of corrosion, but as you can see, this one is all good. Onto the roof, lovely and straight and tidy. Does have a metal sunroof, this one. No sign of any corrosion or anything bubble up around that. Really, really good. Continuing our way down this side, normally you get quite a large amount of stone chips down here where the rear arch flares out. This one still has factory spec PPF section, which is actually really clean. Normally they dry out and go yellow. That one's really, really good. And again, down the bottom here, you can get a bit of corrosion coming through around under the arch, but this one is excellent all the way around. No sign of any marks coming through there. Another good wheel, like I say, staggered rear fitment, Michelin Pilot Sport. No marks on the wheel. You see the discs and everything lovely and clean in the back there as well. Have another look up this side. For a, uh, for a 14 year old black car. Very, very good. In fact, it's not 14 years old, is it? It's 19 years old. Nice and clean on that rear bumper. It sits nice and straight, as do both exhausts. Looks like we've got a reversing camera there as well. We'll check that out when we start the car up. Both rear lights are clear and bright. Normally the C snapped off on the Carrera by now from a sponge, but these ones are all good. Lovely and clean in the louvres. And then round that rear screen, again, all very good. It has the optional rear wiper as well, which is very useful. Round up the passenger side, now we can hear ourselves talk, now that helicopter's gone. Again, you can see lovely and straight all the way up, no ripples or dents. This rear arch again, lovely and sharp all the way around. Same story as the other side. There's no corrosion coming through there. I, I can see. Lovely and tidy along the bottom. Got one little stone chip in the PPF showing that it's doing its job. Another good Michelin Pilot uh, Sport and satin black wheel. No marks at all to notice on that rear quarter. All the glass on this side, lovely and tidy. A pillar again, no sign of any stone chips. All good along that leading edge there. We're being really, really picky. There's one little mark there where there's been a bird poo. That does look like it would polish off quite easily. Nice and clean around the sunroof. Follow that sill 
all the way along on this side. Again, a little bit of, it's, it's actually dirt. It looks like stone chips, but it's dirt where it's had a bit of dry dust or something stuck on it there. Like I say, it has just been driven down to it. Missed that when we've cleaned it. There's no sign of any corrosion coming through. Lovely and clean all the way around. We've been really picky. There's one tiny little stone chip just there that once touched in, but that is me being really, really picky. And then a final matching Michelin Pilot and sat in black wheel. Round onto the front and amazingly for a 996 or a 997, it doesn't need the headlights polished. They are lovely and clean and clear, as are the lower lights. They normally get caned with stone chips. It's got a couple of tiny ones, but generally really good. As is that whole nose cone. You can see the metallic in the paint, but there's really, there's one stone chip there that's been touched in and another little pair down there. But other than that, very, very good. Lovely and clean along the bottom half. Bonnet itself, nice and straight. No ripples or dents in that. So body work wise, for the age of the car, really very good, especially with it being a black car. Very, very good. Obviously been well looked after. Onto the interior, we'll pop the uh, front and rear covers. Door card, lovely and clean and tidy. It does have usual electric mirrors and windows, but we do have memory electric seats. Door shut, lovely and clean in there. Driver's seat, very, very good. Tiny little bit of shininess to the outside bolster if we're being really picky if you compare it to the inside one, but they're still lovely and firm. There's no rips or tears, no funny smells in here. Back of the seat's all nice and tidy. Rear, rear seats don't look like they've been used hardly at all, but again, that's pretty normal for an 11 It's got the Alcantara headlining, lovely and clean. Steering wheels on these Tiptronic cars, they can get quite a lot of wear on the, on the controls, but these ones, it doesn't look like they've used them at all because they're really very good. Top of the wheel again, lovely and tidy. Just ticked over, so it's 90,722 miles. On the top of the dash, it was all nice. It's got the largest uh, media unit with the screen and everything. What else have we got? We've got the adjustable suspension, electric rear spoiler, heated seats, aircon, cruise control, all the good stuff. I'll have a look under here in a second. Move round to the passenger side. Again, lovely and tidy on that door card. No sign of any marks or anyone jumping in and out wrong on the uh, on the door shut. Passenger seat's very, very good. No sign of anywhere at all. Really very good. Lovely and clean on that side. Top of the dash is all nice and tidy. Can have another look at the headlining from here. Like I say, you can tell when something like this has been through bad ownership. This one's obviously been really well looked after. And there's another telltale sign. All the plastics in place, screwed up properly. Still got the warning triangle and everything there. It's got the nav unit, so you've got the DVD bit for the, for the disc down there. Lovely and clean on the carpet. Nice and tidy underneath. And then under your engine bay, 3.6 litre. Like I say, it's the, it's the four, so it's four wheel drive and it's the S. We'll get it fired up. Like I say, it was just driven to us. Clear the seatbelt warning light and the rear boot load. But other than that, no warning lights on there. All nice and happy. Go around the back, there's no smoke coming out the back there. No funny noises. Sitting there, ticking over, idling. Nice and happy. If you check the description, we'll detail everything as far as service history and things like that go. But if you've got any more questions at all, please get in touch. We're here every day if you want to come and see the car, or again, if you can't get to see us, let us know. We can do photos, we can do video calls, whatever you might need. Thank you.